and I. Dancing it out. Just really? dancing it out. <laughs> we're all pretty in pink. Look at that. Right? Yeah, we're all pretty <laughs> grand. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon or good evening or wherever it is in the world that you're watching. Um, hello and welcome. And thank you so much for joining us here today. My name is Brenda. Um, we're hosted on, on this time on my LinkedIn Live series. I call this Social Media Pie because I bring on inspiring people. Uh, let's see if I can do the arrows. People to inform and educate you. And today I have on with me Michelle J. Raymond and Michelle Griffin. So Michelle Raymond, how are you doing today in the down uh, under on the next day, right, Australia? I can tell you from the future, it's amazing. So uh, we are just finally getting some sunshine after a full year of rain and floods. So I am like loving today. So yeah, and so excited to be here with both of my favorites. Oh, well, I'm glad to have you with us. And Michelle Griffin, how are you doing today? I am wonderful here with Michelle one and I'm Michelle. No, I'm Michelle one, Michelle two. We are so okay. excited to be here and we are just thankful that to have you, you know, host us and we can talk about some of the favorite things we all have in common now. Right. Right. Absolutely. And um, by the way, for those of you who are watching, we'd love it if you could drop a comment below. And the question I'm going to ask you right now is tell us what time of day is it where you are, whether you're watching this live or in playback, just drop into comments the time of day it is. And, and I do this for two reasons. One is it's kind of like the mic tap. Is this thing on? Is it working? It helps us to see if people are watching. And um, secondarily, for all of you that are watching, this is a great way to build up your visibility by putting something into comments, because then we can see that you're in here and there's a good chance we're going to click to go to your profile later. And also the other audience can also see that you're in here and whether they are watching live or playback, they'll be able to see your comments as well. So don't be shy. Go ahead and drop into comments where you are watching us from. And as we start to do our, our introductions before we get into the topic, I'll start to bring some of your comments up just like I'm doing for Miranda. Hey, Miranda, right yeah. now. So today we are going to be having a great chat about, um, let me just pull this up on screen here, book marketing and publishing tips. And we're going to get into that in just a few moments. But for the benefit of our audience, those folks that are not aware of who you are, uh, Michelle Raymond, why don't you take a minute to tell us a little bit about yourself? And then Michelle Griffin will have you do the same. Yeah, thanks, Brenda. So Michelle J. Raymond, and the J is because there's about a thousand Michelle Raymonds out there in the world on LinkedIn. So the J helps you find me. I'm based down here in Sydney, as we just said, and I am best known for all things LinkedIn company pages, which is how Brenda and I first crossed paths last year, spending almost like nine months together, I think, hosting clubhouse rooms on that exact topic. So I love LinkedIn for B2B business, building communities. And, you know, I, my half of, you know, what we produced together with Michelle Griffin is all about how do you help build a business brand on LinkedIn. So uh, we brought our powers combined um, and I can't wait to talk about that, but down to you, M1. <laughs> M1, well, M1 and M2, because we call ourselves M squared, the power of two. And I'm Michelle Griffin, all the way in Florida, Northwest Florida, Pensacola to be exact. And I'm excited to be here. I'm a personal brand strategist. And what does that mean? I actually help like go-getter professionals, those who really want to stand out and rise up in the industry, tired of being on the sidelines, I help them form their personal brand strategy and get out there with a plan of action. So I'm excited to be here and talk about the LinkedIn branding book, which why we're I mean, this is the this is the week we've been waiting for for the last nine months. So it's been a process and it's been so well received. And we just want to thank you, Brenda, for hosting us. Well, I am delighted. And I, I don't know if, if did we time it this way so that it would, it would coincide with launch week or was it just coincidental? I think no, we did. Either. Yeah, it was, it was intentional. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like the pink. I mean, did you both intentionally wear pink today or is pink part of your branding colors? Or tell me like, I mean, I'm, I'm wearing it. I was at a presentation. I was at Crater Con Detroit today and I um, was, you know, wearing my brand color because I was up on stage. But were are you both wearing your pink color because there's the book. The book. Yeah. Is that right? We're in our, our corporate attire, our, our uh, enthusiastically unemployable attire. Right? I thought in you dressed up for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, fun. So we are going to get started with a great conversation here today. And today we're going to be talking about book marketing and publishing tips. And I'm going to be asking M1 and M2, both Michelle, some questions about their process going through. And um, then I actually got my Amazon package in the mail. So I'm going to open up my book. I haven't even Yay. looked at it yet. I'm so excited to talk. And we're going to talk about a little bit about their book a little bit later on and where you can pick up a copy of that. But I want to start the conversation because I'm I'm curious personally, 
Um, where did this idea start off? I mean, how did you, was it one of you? Was it both of you? Like, tell me, where did the idea to collaborate on this book project come from? You can go M1. Okay. Yeah. I think you told the story last night. It came on a probably WhatsApp or a Zoom because Michelle and I, for the last two years, you know, the backstory is we met in a comment, right? And two years ago, actually started collaborating and supporting each other last year. And then I asked her to help me host a LinkedIn beta room when I was doing it early last year. And we started doing supporting women and then we got some really good traction. Ooh, look at that. And, uh, so we went from an audio room to a podcast called it the LinkedIn branding show. And then I don't know. Oh, that's such beautiful. Look, uh, you know, I still haven't even gotten my copy yet. So that's beautiful. <laughs> it's coming on a, <laughs> oh, I sure. Could I interrupt you to tell like a quick little brief story too? Because um, I know you, you've both been promoting this over the past week and you're doing such a great job with book marketing and I admire you and I think people are going to learn some tips from you. But over the past week, I've seen people holding up pictures of the book and I'm like, why don't I have mine yet? And and, I, and I'm like, I know when, when I first heard about the pre-launch opening on Amazon, I feel like in the back of my mind, I'm like, I purchased one. And then I was even telling you in the pre-show, I was like, I went in my Amazon cart and it wasn't there and there's no mm -hmm. order history. And I'm like, I'm like, past Brenda, you're not a very good friend for not supporting <laughs> these ladies. And um, I think it was Saturday I placed the order and then Amazon delivered it yesterday. So I'm like, wow. thankfully it was here on time. That's um, awesome. So yeah, so go ahead. No, 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 that's fine. And so I don't know which one of us said, let's make the podcast a book and here we are. So I think in February, nine months ago, we, we blossomed into the idea and here we are. And Brenda, please take a picture someday soon. We're putting all that up there. We're just so excited. It wasn't even actually supposed to be out. Uh, the official launch date was November 17th. There was a little snafu oh, wow. with Amazon and they released some versions early. So we kind of had to rush it out. But it's it's been a blessing. And, you know, at the end of the day, this is here to help people stand up and rise up and build brands and businesses of impact and good. And that's what we want to travel the world and help people get out there. That's wonderful. And, and, and M2, I know this is the second time you've done a book collaboration project. So I'm sure you have some advice on this too, because I mean, it's it's two authors. There's, you know, who's who's driving the outline, who gets the first credit on the Amazon. We were talking about that a little bit. So can you share with us some highlights of, of the project of working both with Linair previously and with M1 on this, this project? Or M2. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> really interesting because I'm putting it out there. I had no intentions of ever writing a book full stop. And now I've written two. So life can just, you know, happen. I am a yes person. I'm a dive in the deep end and let's just make it happen. So when Lanaire asked me to do a book with her last year, I just said yes. I had no idea how to do it. I knew company pages and I knew how to write, but I've never had a clue on writing books exactly. So I said to her, if you can handle the how to write a book bit and point me in the right direction, I'll make it happen. And so she took care of all of that. So then, you know, we got through that process and it was amazing. And the book launched and it was really successful and I was proud of it. So then Michelle and I, you know, Michelle wanted to do it to tick off her bucket list because she comes from a family of writers. Her mom's mm -hmm. a writer. It was your uncle as well was, mm -hmm. um, you know, like mm -hmm. a writer as well. So she said, Michelle, do you think we could write one together? And I was like, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take the lead on this one. Cause I've written one book that makes me an expert now. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> But the, the interesting part was you go into it and you think I'll bring those same processes across and it'll all work out fine. Well, actually it doesn't because Michelle is different to Lynette and how Michelle and I work together is different to how Lynette and I work together. And so, you know, not going to lie, it took us a while to work out our mojo. Like mm -hmm. I love Microsoft Word. Michelle loves Google Docs. Like, you yeah. know, like, and just little things like that. Whose name goes first on the book? We went alphabetical. Um, you know, like all of these little things that you don't think about you know, what was common was we, the impact that we wanted to have. Mm -hmm. And I would say that that's the thing you've got to hold on to tightest um, mm -hmm. because I want to dive in, dive in the deep end and just write, Michelle likes to plan, you know, and that's perfectly okay. They're both okay. But when you're trying to do something together and make a book sound like it's not mm -hmm. schizophrenic, um, <laughs> you know, that it hasn't been written by multiple personalities and that's really hard. And so I wrote in American English, for instance, <laughs> Um, and I oh, thank you for doing that for all of us. We we appreciate no the flavor and the color spelling <laughs> being correct. <laughs> yes, not allowed. What's the word you can't say? She you it can't killed her. Say whilst, um, yeah, and you know, what? I, whilst. whilst. 
so I don't even know. I was going to pronounce it wild. wildest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's funny. I use that word sometimes because I feel very important. Whilst watching TV the other night. <laughs> John Asperian tells me it's very old fashioned, which is me yeah. to a T, obviously. Like, um, <laughs> but it was like lots of little things like that that you don't even think about because mm -hmm. you just go, we're so alike in so many ways and our values are the same and what we wanted to achieve was the same. But you have to get over all of those bumps and be committed to compromising, being committed to finding a way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it could go really pear-shaped mm -hmm. if you weren't doing it with the right person. Um, I'm mm -hmm. just lucky that Michelle Squared was the right, you know, the right team to do it. Absolutely. And we were 15 hours apart, so the time zone was a little bit challenging. Also, we were creating, you know, the how the first book she did was how to. This one was combining a whole new concept, merging this. We created the brand squared system through it. So that took some time. We actually started writing the book. We scrapped a bit of it because it was just sterile and boring. And so we went, we met weekly, like since February or more, I don't know, whenever in the spring, we started meeting weekly, every week to write it. And, and so we went through some hair, not hairy times, but it was a learning curve because we were creating something new and we had to really learn from each other's, you know, yays and nays, but I'm really excited. And the beautiful thing is late in the game, we decided we were going to make so much action for our readers that we made this brand squared workbook that's coming out shortly. Oh, cool. And we're, we're mm -hmm. proud about that too. So that's okay. going to be so very have, helpful. Have either of you written a book by yourself? Not or, yet. Okay, but so she's this, prompted me for 2023. That's my goal. Oh, good. So sure. there's no there's no basis of comparison for my next question, which is you know which is better or which would be you know what should you take into consideration on writing a project on you know writing a book on your own versus writing it with someone. Do you, do either of you have any thoughts on that though? No, I think I the deadline was yeah because I would never make one happen if it was left up to me by myself. Yeah. Like yeah. the accountability partner is why these things come to life. So mm -hmm. I'm curious, Brenda, how did you keep yourself accountable to bring social media pie to life? Um, yeah. You know, because I would imagine there's some easier bits because it's just all in your brain, your systems, your way. Mm -hmm. But then is there the it's all on you and you've got a busy life, you're a mom, you've got a busy business, you're off speaking, yeah. COVID, all these kind of things. Like, how do you do it? Like, yeah. You know, for me, I, um, so I was at a conference speaking, it was a, a writer's conference speaking about LinkedIn for authors and publishers and whatnot. And I had, I met someone at the event and he wrote a book. Um, it's called how to write a book in 30 days. That was the name mm. of the book, you know, and the whole, the whole premise is, I mean, anybody can write a book in 30 days. All it takes is you need to sit down and commit to writing for a half hour to an hour. And there's certain things you need to do. And, you know, the start of the process is writing the outline. Um, and I, I've had this book like in my, I had for a year. So it was like just sitting down and committing, but honestly, what did it for me was telling my network, like posting on LinkedIn and mm -hmm. saying, today is November 1st. And it was, I think it was two years ago, November. I said, today is November 1st. I am committed to every day writing a book and I'm going to have it written by the end of November. And then I ended up working with that person. So he's a self-publishing coach. Um, his name's Don Staley. And he would, he helped guide me through the self-publishing project, but it also helped me with the timeline. And I think we even started with when do you want to publish? And this was in the middle of, of COVID, of course. Um, so we ended up, it was originally going to be like published in December of 2020. And he helped me kind of think about, do you really want to have a book 2020? Like with the book mm -hmm. publishing date of 2020? Because that was that the year that we're going to remember is, is COVID yeah. for that. And he said, how about we do it in January? And then from there, we backed into our timeline. So I'm curious for both of you, how did your timeline process work? Did you work in reverse or did mm -hmm. you kind of say, we're going to start today and get to it when we get to it? Or what was that process like? We had a special day in mind on, no, on the calendar. Michelle, too, do you want to tell them what that special date is? <laughs> the launch date was my birthday because Business Aww. Gold was launched on my birthday last year. So my birthday is the 18th of November here, 17th of November, obviously, for you guys. Um, and so that was the date. So it's after Thanksgiving, before Christmas. So it kind of worked out in, in that space. It was roughly the same amount of time. Um, and we worked backwards and I did some of the processes that I knew how long things had taken previously. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. some of that was similar. Some of that was faster. Some of that blew out. Like, you know, and I would say there isn't almost like this, you can just rinse and repeat when you're working with different partnerships. Um, I, and I think that was, um, I think there's a general overarching, you know, you have to leave a certain amount of time, but there, are, you have to also factor in 
you know, you're getting to know a person and how they work as well. And I we didn't factor that in, which I think we could have up front and that might have saved some stuff down down the back. But um, yeah, so it was really interesting. So it was my birthday and then we worked backwards, but then Amazon messed with a few things and things went out early. And so anyway, we're still celebrating with Gillian Whitney to do the official launch on the actual day. Um, mm-hmm. And it's an excuse for me to have a birthday party too. So I hope other people yeah. can Yeah, and- we're going to get a I cake. Didn't- I see I'm, Jillian Whitney is on with us and she oh, said LinkedIn okay. Live just restarted. Behold, gotta love technology. Like sometimes, oh, geez. sometimes technology glitches, right? Um, hopefully the live stream, once it goes on YouTube, it'll be a, a smooth. I think sometimes it it's the baton gets dropped between StreamYard and LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. And then LinkedIn, yeah. like it, LinkedIn picks it up again and then it keeps it going. But um, Jillian, it's, it's a delight to see you in the audience yeah. here. Yeah, hey, Jillian. I was going to say about the deadline. You were so impressive to like knock out a book in 30 days. And, you know, there's a there's a theory that, you know, work adapts to the time that is given. So, you know, yeah. we had nine months. So I also wonder if you're working with two people, do you have a shorter timeline? I mean, we, in my mind, we're like nine months, you know, it doesn't, you know, we, we kept yeah. our, to our deadlines, but I'm wondering, you know, if you tighten that up. I mean, we did it for Michelle, but theory, in theory, could have probably done it in half the time, don't you think, Michelle? Oh, look, absolutely. Because if it's that whole, you know, the deadline's coming up, I'm going to cram for the exam the night before, mm-hmm. then of course, like you can do that. But I think, you know, writing by yourself versus two people bringing that together. I think that's where that kind of would come undone. Yes, theoretically, writing the book is the easy part. Like the actual writing Mm -hmm. is probably the most easy because we talk about this stuff day in, day out, right? And Mm -hmm. Brenda, you were probably the same. Social media pie is just what you would say day in, day out. You know, All I did really, I mean, here's my secret. I tipped my head over and then I kind (laughs) of clinked on it and I pulled together a couple blogs and you know, tweaked a couple words and, you know, it was, it was done really. It's yeah. the organization. That's the hardest. The life, yeah. You know, life yeah. happens. Like things happened outside of the book that happen in yeah. life that are out of our control mm-hmm. that you have to factor that in. Like, you don't know if you're going to get busy with clients. You don't know whether something else is going to happen outside of, you know, business altogether. And we had a couple of things happen like that. And, you know, like from that perspective, you've got to factor that in. And yeah. So I think there's, you know, some things that I would learn for the next time around. There are things that um, I think would be easier by yourself. And there's some things that I wouldn't change. Um, and, so I, w- you know, I want to shift thing. gears a little bit because we've talked about the publishing or the production part process yeah. of it. And we are all marketers in our in our hearts and our core. So I want to I want to shift into like marketing tips for books because there may be authors that are watching this right now or or um, aspiring authors like I want to write a book someday, you know, so let's talk about tips that you would offer from a marketing perspective and uh, Michelle Raymond how about you go first I'll go second and then we'll have Michelle Griffin go how's that sound yeah so for me I think that's the part that doesn't take 30 days like so the Mm -hmm. longer you can build this and build the runway as our friend Krista would say build the runway for as long as possible to let people know it's coming bring them on board and when it's ready to launch they're already there so things like the LinkedIn lives like this so we can get in front of other people's audience and have conversations like that's definitely a part of the strategy so we can borrow your audience so thank you Brenda for letting us borrow yours my Um, audience is your audience right (laughs) thank you Um, but I would also say I'm a salesperson at heart and there's a thing that I do, which I know Lanair didn't do. Um, and she was very grateful that I turned into a sales beast. So I have literally personally DM'd about, a, uh, I think about to about 80 people last night to mm-hmm. ask them to buy the book. So I am saying we have worked hard on this project. I would like you to buy this book. I want you to support us and I'm not afraid of them going, I'm not interested. Fine. Whatever. That's fine. I have no problem. But I would say probably so far, three quarters of them have said yes. Mm -hmm. So be prepared to put yourself out there because I've spoken to Jo, our publisher, and she said she's got people that write books and never sell a copy and will never tell people about their book. So they write it and it just sits there. And that to me- What's the point? That makes no sense. (laughs) Yeah. Don't be afraid to ask people to buy your book is the other thing I would add. So Brenda, what would you say? So um, for me, I, you know, I'm going to go back into the, you know, tapping into your audience and I guess adding on to what you already said. I mean, I talked about the book from every stage and phase of the process. Um, What I really admired what you guys are doing, you ladies are doing rather, is I think you've been very intentional about reaching out to your network and saying, 
who has a podcast or a LinkedIn live that we can get on. And, and you reach out to people like me and I'm like, of course I'll host you. And, you know, you're kind of like, you've been sprinkling out social media karma throughout the years. And now you're going back in and you're, you're recouping that uh, karma that you put out there by asking people um, to help to support the book launch. And, and I love the thought of tapping into your audience. Um, for me, you know, I, I, you know, I think you both are doing this as well. And I've seen John Aspirian do it. When um, people got the book, I, you know, either they messaged me or email me, or if they ordered direct from my website, I know it was them. I would say, hey, when it arrives, get a picture of yourself holding the book and post it on LinkedIn or your favorite social media site. Tag me, tag Meller Marketing and use hashtag social media pie the book. And then from there, I um, had like a pre-sale. So if you were in Metro Detroit and you did the pre-sale, I actually dropped the book off. And remember, this was like in early 2021. So this was in COVID days when we couldn't see mm. people. And it was in January, February. And I had a pie costume that I went and I wore a mask when I Gosh, needed to be close that's to That's awesome. And I, um, I, I delivered the book in a pink envelope to people in person. And it was like, I, I was like the pre-sale is really heavy on if you buy it by December X date, I'm going to deliver, hand deliver it to you if you live in Metro Detroit in January or February when it arrives. Um, it, but it was like building up that momentum with it. And um, for me, I mean, I think the, the audience it was like, it's their book too. It wasn't just my mm -hmm. book. It was like when they got it, they go like, I, my book arrived today. Like my book, not like your book arrived, my book arrived today. So I think like building in that audience engagement um, was a big marketing um, kind of focus for, for me. Michelle Griffin, how about you? What tips do you have? Oh, I love everything you did. I was actually one of the early people before I even knew you two years ago, getting excited. I remember distinctly that cute video of your daughter, packing or unpacking the mm -hmm. pink envelopes you order from Uline. So you yes. did a fantastic <laughs> job. So everything you would do. And then here's the thing. The PR person in me wants to say, this is not going to stop right now. Unlike that person who wrote the book and no one saw, we have planned, like right now we're getting the launch out. But I, as I've told Michelle a million times, this is just the beginning. You leverage the book for other opportunities, right? Whether mm -hmm. it be a course, whether it be events, whether we're going to have a whole nother campaign to get on podcast round two, it doesn't end. This is evergreen content. And so launch is not just a one and done thing. It is a fun thing. We engage our audience instead of user generated content, as you say, reader generated content. So we're going to put all those pictures, all those reviews on our website and the more, the better. So make it a party, make it about other people. And then you will go far because that's why we wrote this book. It wasn't for us. We yeah. say it in the book and we, we wrote this book for you. Clear instructions on the last page actually yes. has, please go and post, please leave us a recommendation on Amazon. And we yes. make it really clear, help us out people by doing this because it makes a difference. It builds up social proof. And, you know, the book has a whole section dedicated to social proof. Absolutely. So it would be silly of us not to include it. But, um, yeah, it's it's just the start. And we're lucky because the podcast episodes are tied into the book. Yes. And we talk about the book in the podcast episode. So that's another way that we help market this book as well. So you and just going to think of something I want to share with you my screen right now. Um, go ahead, Michelle. Smiling. No, I was right, just going to say, we've got some event. We got some new good stuff coming out in 2023. You're going to be surprising people with. So stay tuned. Okay. What, are you, what are you going to surprise you with? Because So this is I got an invitation to follow this wonderful page oh. today. It's called the LinkedIn Branding Book by yes. Michelle Squared. And I'm going to put this inside... Um, that's another screen. tip. If you're an author, have a company page. In this case, it's a showcase page because you want to be able to have people tag it, right? right. And that's right. another thing. Your book lives in its own entity. Also put it in your profile. Put yourself mm -hmm. as an author. And uh, yeah. the more places, the better. I love that. I hope you're going to follow it. Oh, I did. I, yeah, I'm, I'm following right now. Okay. Um, yeah. When I and went the on there, it was, only, there was no, but there was no post because I wanted to put up, I wanted to do a congratulations. I wanted to like comment on something, but there was no post yet. We on the page. just got our first post from people so that we can start doing it. So I set that up yeah. on the weekend because I said to Michelle, That's I'm going to keep figured. like a trophy cabinet of all of these amazing photos mm -hmm. that we get from people. So Rachel Simon, she was our first one out there. I saw Sue Griffey. Thank you. Carrie for your Dobson work. today. Carrie. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're and also we're uh, doing our screenshots. That's social proof. Mm -hmm. So we'll both, Michelle and I both yeah. get screenshots of people like showing us their favorite parts. And so we're going to screenshot all that. So it's one big scrapbook, digital scrapbook. Yeah. Let me show you what I did. 
with my page, I did a slightly different approach. I didn't do it as a showcase page. I did it as a company page and I added it to my profile um, because of the fact that when you add a new position to your profile, you can push out a notification to your network and it says, congratulate Brenda on being named author at Social Media Pie. And then you get all the congratulations and this is a little marketing tip too. And then you get the DMs. And then when people yeah. DM'd me, I messaged them back and I gave them the link to buy the book. Um, mm -hmm. yes. What I also did on the page is, you know, similar to both of you is I, you know, I captured all those pictures that people were sending to me and you can see the banner, um, people in different, you know, holding the book up with the mask, without the mask. But um, like, it was really like, this isn't my book. This is our book. This is our, mm -hmm. our community book. So, yeah, because we've got the company page set up for the community and then mm -hmm. we've got a showcase page for the book and a showcase page will be set up for the podcast as well. So Very we'll cool. we'll add the community to our work experience and go around it that way. But we realize yeah. because this has other branches that will come out of it in 2023 um, to try and keep a track of it easily so we could go back ah. and search. Um, so but this, yeah, is the, this is the parent page then, Michelle exactly. Square. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. Yes. Not yeah, follow exactly. This one. All right. Yeah, absolutely. And here's another thing, because the LinkedIn branding book, we show you all the nooks and crannies and all the ways to do it. And so Michelle and I, you know, set up graphics early on, you know, I got us all set up on that. Our DMs are like first, hey, the LinkedIn branding book just announced this, you know, you know, I'm talking about if you're a premium user, the auto responder, yeah, the, or the it's coming in the link. Yeah. yeah. And then the one now is Hey, well, actually, every time Michelle writes it, I just steal hers. I just <laughs> copy hers because it's good. The, this one says, hey, guess what? The LinkedIn branding book is available and we have the link. So there's all little ways to pop up and be a brand impression. And you never know when people are going to see it. So that's another tip. Well, that's awesome. So we're like flying by. We were originally when we first got it, I'm like, how long do we want to go here? Let's plan on maybe <laughs> a half hour. Let's go. Let's see. But I want to ask our audience, do you have any questions that you would like to ask Michelle Griffin or Michelle Raymond? If so, please go into your chat right now, drop your questions in there, and then I will pull them up on screen. And I, I do see a couple people are in the audience watching with us here today. And I'm just going to scroll along here and see. Shout out to Gabe. We were on his show yeah. last night. And were you? I know, oh. Yeah. And he He's writing yeah. a book in 2023. So, yeah. exactly. So, this is the challenging part. Now, we've got if I have two banners running in StreamYard, Michelle, um, you're getting so hidden. So, oh, as, that's okay. As a nice guest, I'm going to hide my, as a, as a host, I should say, I'm going to have you go up. So, I'm hidden on oh, here. Wow. Thank but you, Brenda. Gabe, it, does he still do the um, weekly, like, here's all the upcoming LinkedIn lives? Is that something that he still publishes? Do you know? I haven't mm. seen that for a while. It goes live every night. Um, okay. Unfiltered but, live. It's good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we were on that show last night. But Brenda, can I ask you a question? Can sure. Yeah. So you recorded your own audio version of Social Media mm, Pie. Yeah. Tell me about that. Would you recommend it? Was it worth the effort? Um, yeah. What What should we learn from you about that? Because that's something that people are you thinking ask about audio book next. Are you going to do that? Look, People have asked for it. I'm not yeah. sure. Um, so yeah, your thoughts. Yeah, I um, in the back of my mind, I was always going to do an audiobook because uh, I love presenting. I love doing webinars. I love speaking in front of live audiences. And there's just something to be said with delivering it to a manner in, in you know, you can like write the words, but you're like, are they going to hear the emphasis I had on this word? And, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit funnier when I say it like this. And um, similar to you, I had people immediately after I published the print book saying, when will it be on audio or where can I get the audio book? Like right away, there was a demand for that. Um, and I mean, honestly, I mean, this is probably bad to admit. I didn't have a goal in mind in terms of like revenue. I was looking to, I didn't really have a revenue goal. It was more like I wanted to check the box and say I did the audio book because it was a labor of love for me and to be able to go through and read the book. I mean, there were certain things that you would, you would say in the audio version that you wouldn't write in the written version. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't say as you're, as you're reading this, you would say, as you're listening to this, for example. Mm -hmm. But um, one of my favorite parts of doing the audio book was the credits at the end. So you know how in the book there's the about the author? Mm -hmm. So I had, um, my kids were like, they were really mesmerized. I was using this audio, I can't remember what the audio equipment's called, and it was like showing the sound waves on screen. And I had my fancy new microphone, and they were watching me listening to me do it every night. And they're like, how, you know, and I was showing them how it works. And I said, well, here's like a chat, like read the about the author. And I recorded my son doing it. And then I recorded my daughter and they were both did a really good Aww. job. And I said, how about I post it on social media and we'll ask people who did, a, who did it better? Like, you know, it's kind of a competition. And then, um, you know, it was so cute. I mean, nobody won because they were both really good at doing it. And then I ended up um, sending it. I worked with um, 
Dave, help me remember his last name, Michelle Raymond. Are you going to ask me that? But oh, no. <laughs> okay, whoever remembers it first, shout it out. But Dave um, helped say Stokes? Stokes, yes. Stokes? Okay. yes. So Dave yep. Stokes, I sent it to him and I said, can you do something with this? And he took, there was probably, I don't know, three or four, six paragraphs in the about the author. And my daughter was the first three and then my son. So he like intermixed Aww, it. That's and awesome. And now they're a part of like the author credits for the book too. So I highly recommend it. Um, you know, get some good equipment, work with somebody. I mean, Dave Stokes was phenomenal to work with because he gave me coaching before I went all the way through. My my big concern was I was going to get to the point where I was uploading it to all the sites and the sites were going to say, sorry, the quality is not good mm. or you didn't do it in the right format. You got to do it all over again or it doesn't pass muster. We're not going to like publish it because it's not good audio quality. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend it was so much fun doing the audio version of it because you can get personality in that, that you can't get from the written word. So are you going to do it? Am I going to commit both of you to doing it? <laughs> How long did it take? That's the thing. Does it take a long time? Uh, well, the thing is with the audiobook version, um, there is, there's not the same amount of time as writing a book mm -hmm. because of the fact that it's already written. So what I yeah. did is I pulled up a PDF version of the book on my desktop and then I went through the first time I like read it and then I made notes on what needed to change. So for example, mm -hmm. when I said, as you're reading this, okay, now I need to say, as you're listening to this. And there was a few elements, as you know, LinkedIn is a moving target. So the things I talked about in the printed book, some of them were outdated or the navigation had changed slightly. Um, so there were some tweaks that I had made, but it's probably, I mean, probably less than 5% change from, mm -hmm. you know, that when you think about the number of words that you change. And then, I mean, the actual recording, it, it took me less than a month. I mean, it probably took about two weeks to do it from start to finish. You do need to like, take breaks because I think my total book, it might be like eight hours until I'm not going to sit down and record for eight hours. That's too mm -hmm. much. And you also, the first chapter you do, um, you're kind of like, you've got this energy and you're upbeat. And by the third or fourth chapter, you're getting a little bit flat and then yeah. you take a break. And the next day you start off again. high. So Dave actually recommended to me at, you know, do it in order chapter one through whatever. But when you get done, re-record chapter one, because you'll have learned things about your voice and tone and what you like that you'll mm. want to go back and re-record it all over again. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm. So I see we, we might do that. Yeah. yeah oh, let's hear it. it. Joey, um, what did you not do initially that you wish you did? Asking for a friend. And he is also an author. Um, Michelle Raymond, what do you think? Look, as Michelle said, one of the things that we did was we got started, then we went and scrapped that and had to start again because I don't think we probably sat down to talk. Oh, that's cool. That's Joey's <laughs> book. I found Love it. Love it. Oh, how cool. Uh, yeah. So I, I think that what we, we kind of wrote the book backwards, you know, we kind yeah. of wrote it, then went back and fitted in the brand squared system as opposed to spending some more time up front planning it. Um, and I think that's probably what I would do a bit different as much as I'm not a planner. Um, it probably would have helped us both understand. And I think what it was is when you're friends and we've been friends for so long and we're so alike in a lot of ways, you know, we finish each other's sentences kind of ways. Um, what happens is it's like, you be the boss. No, you be the boss. No, you be the boss. Aww. And so when you go through this, no one wants to be the boss, then we end up, you know, like just flapping about for a bit. So I think it was just something that we learned over time. That was the problem. And we went back and fixed it and it was fine. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's what I would say. What would you say, Michelle? Is there anything else? I, I say that as much as you can pre-plan, have a flow, have a system, you know, we were trying to make this so simple and, our, and I've, I'll say it again, we were, you know, the, her first book was a how to. So it was like, you know how to write about comedy pages. We're merging two ideas. And there were moments where I'm like, talk me through this. We got to figure it out. And I would just, you know, just, I think invest as much time up front because, oh, and also if you're going to do a workbook, like to take action, plan that first, almost outline that first. So then you can slot that in because now we're having to simplify. So it's really planning. Books are not hard. It's the planning, it's the organization and the time management. Okay. Isn't that funny when you say yeah. that like, books, books are not hard. I, and I don't know what the percentages of people that have written a book. I have to imagine it's pretty low it is, in terms yeah. of the total population of all the people that are on the planet. How many people have written a book? And, but it is, I mean, it's, it can feel very daunting, but it's not really difficult. It's, I mean, it reminds me a little bit of the movie, The Shawshank Redemption. Remember where the guy like dug a tunnel through the wall yeah. and all it takes is, what did they say? Time. 
time and effort or what is the phrase is there's two things time and momentum i don't know but you just have to you know put the effort into it and over time you'll get it done you know 10 mm -hmm. years is going to go by so you'll have yeah. written a book at the end of those 10 years or you'll be talking about it again or you'll leave your corporate job and go to a consulting or co coaching practice at the end of 10 years whatever it is that you do i mean a year from now both of you could have an audiobook and we could be back on the show talking about the Yay. audiobook um, maybe, you know, it's, it's just, I, I think it's like having those decisions in place, um, and knowing what you want to do, Joey. So thank you for asking. And that just question. keep saying this too shall pass when like we were, I, and my thing is I would have to, I'm such a planner. I'd have, she'd have to talk me through concepts. I'm like, but I gotta know, I gotta know. And she taught me off the ledge because and sometimes we have to come back off the ledge. It's like, <laughs> yes. no perfectionist. come back here, come back. Yeah. Come back. She, yeah. Come Cause back. my brain wants to like research the heck out of something and just go to town. So she'd have to say, come on, Michelle, thank you through. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but time and I, pressure. That's what it was. Oh, Joey, time remember. And, I, time I agree. There, there was yeah. pressure, but she would say, Michelle, no one remembers the, everyone remembers the cute baby and not the labor pains. And I would remember that. <laughs> that would be on my shoulder telling me when I'm up at 10 o'clock at night having a writer's block or something. Here's what so. happens. You know, we're human. The imposter syndrome kicks in and you get, you know, halfway through this book and you're writing it and you're loving it. And it's your heart and soul and everything you've learned. And then here's what happened for me. I had in my brain, for whatever reason, on whatever day, decided that I had no right to be writing a book on branding. How dare uh -huh. I write a book on branding? And my brain went into this, I've got to sound really smart. I've got to research. I've got to write like a robot. And I went into this weird place. And then um, Carla Howard was on my LinkedIn lives and we we're talking about creating online courses. And thank God she said to me, Michelle, like when you create an online course, you're reaching back to who you were two years yes. ago. And this yes. book was literally written for who we were two, nearly three yes. years ago when we started our businesses. When I started to look back and reach back and bring people back, and I know, Brenda, this is you to a T, like this absolutely mm -hmm. sums up who you were for me and who you still are for me. Mm -hmm. But when I was trying to write it to impress people of where I wanted to get in the future, it just went pear-shaped. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I looked back and went, I could help who I was two years ago and I want to help other people go through, it worked. And Michelle went through her own versions of this, um, but it, it happens, you know, and that's the reality. And I think that's where some of the time, you know, kind of comes in because you get into a, a funk, you know, and mm -hmm. you've got to get yourself out of it. Yeah, we're not writing an academic Nobel Peace Prize or Nobel or Pulitzer Prize, you right. know, aiming here. We're trying to help people, you know, bridge and get through and stand out on LinkedIn. So that's exactly it. And, you know, we'd help each other. Like I would tell her something to get her through and she would tell me when we'd have these moments of overthinking or, you know, imposter syndrome or whatever it may be. And that's the beauty of writing with two people. You know, Brenda, when you wrote that feverish 30 days did you have right. any of those? <laughs> it actually I mean if we're going to be honest if we're all friends here I'm going to tell you it took a little it was over it was probably like 30 days in a week or 30 days in oh 10 my days goodness, that's amazing but, um, <laughs> we, we did I mean I did seriously sit down and every day I had 30 minutes or an hour and I shut my I mean I told my family like every day I'm doing this and like some days um I think at the time I was in, I was in an accountability lab and we had a six 30 in the morning phone call. And so after our call was done at seven from seven to eight, I would close my office door before I even started with anything. And like seven to eight was my writing time. And to be honest too, it wasn't starting from scratch. Um, mm -hmm. I had started with an outline, so I would like pick a chapter and I went out of order when I wrote it too, but I would say, oh, I have a blog that's about this. So I would pull the blog off, flip up the feathers a little bit, right. And, and tweak it and modify mm -hmm. it. Um, but again, time and pressure, right? You get a deadline. Mm -hmm. you get, and if you're committed to writing a book, you will write and you will publish a book. Um, mm -hmm. I want to ask a question because I know Michelle Raymond, you've talked about on Amazon, your first book, if I'm remembering correctly, was an Amazon bestseller. Am I remembering mm -hmm. this correctly? Absolutely. Yes. Talk to me about that. And then are you also working towards that bestseller status for the branding book? Yeah, absolutely. So that was a very deliberate strategy that we did with Business Gold. And part of that comes from reducing the price of the book, you know, down to a really cheap price so as many people can buy it as quickly as possible. That's essentially how you get bestseller status, get as many people to buy the book as quick as possible. And Lanair and I, because there's no other book on company pages, wanted as many people to get it. And that was our goal. And we achieved that. And, you know, okay. big tick. This book was different. Um, and again, the amount of effort that we put in, because there's 
you know, over 20 podcast episodes linked into the book. So there's, wow. you know, an enormous amount of time that we've put in on top of writing the book. And that's the other thing to keep in mind. So, you know, throughout the book, there's not just our stories and the teaching, there's also QR codes where you can go and listen to us on the podcast, talk about that particular chapter. Um, and we think that's really cool because no one else has done that to the best And the of workbook our too. Yeah. So that's another bonus. Yeah, and then the workbook. Yeah. Um, so with this one, our strategy is the price is the price um, and we are going to push it as hard as possible. And it's sitting at number four in a couple of categories right now. So, uh, you know, given it's not even officially launched, I'm confident that we will get there. We were number one on the hot sellers list uh, yesterday in small business marketing. So that's an amazing achievement. Uh, but yeah, it's a strategy, but one that we didn't want to discount the price of this book. It's just a different strategy. There's no right or wrong. It's sitting down and setting that intention of how you want to go around it. So um, yeah, we're right. number one in new releases and marketing for small businesses, Amazon mm -hmm. hot new releases. You can go on the, on the page and see the link of, you know, right under. We also were very deliberate in things like um, if you go on our sales page at Amazon, it's totally, it's a, it's a letter to our readers, you know, so we we're trying to make it so community focused. The back of the book has the letter too, um, or actually mm. the back of the book has a letter and the um, link and the sales pages, you know, talks about how it's a different kind of book. So um, okay. if you flip it over, I don't even have the book yet, guys. Like oh, that's <laughs> number one there. So yeah, you can see yeah. Like there's number one for marketing and small business. So yeah, um, that's for the hot seller. So click on the link where it says, you know, see the yellow under the right there, Brenda, do you see it? What am I clicking on? The uh, star? Where it says, let me go back. It says Amazon. It says number one, where it says, oh yeah, like under the oh, stars, it says number one new Google release. Button. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. click on the version. Yeah. Where's, where's it at? I'm sorry. Oh, right Amazon. under the five stars, under the title, yeah, under you'll the see the stars. stars. One rating. Yeah. Click on Kindle. Go down. Oh, click on Kindle? Yep. Click on Kindle. Okay. Yeah, there it is. So it pops up. You can see how it's number one in the new release. Oh, right here oh. with the five stars. And oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Like and then click on that link. Okay. Click on the link again there. And then you'll bring it to. Pull it larger so everyone else can see because my okay. eyes are getting old. So number one yeah. new release in marketing. So you want me to click on in marketing yeah. and small business? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You can click that on and it'll show you. Oh, is that's got to feel good. Yeah, we yeah, took some nice. stuff, no, so. That's awesome. So if you, when you guys buy it, like right now, every this week is just a pivotal week for us. And, you know, we're pretty excited judging that, you know, we didn't do the 99 cent route. So mm -hmm. also I, I something to both of you guys. Oh, go yeah, ahead. Go no, ahead. I was gonna say one more thing. We stand out because we're hot pink, most LinkedIn books. And I think yours is too, Brenda. But, you know, we, we stand out with a color. So standing out branding. Yeah. So mine is, is, it is white, but the spine is pink intentionally because yes. I see a lot of books on bookshelves that don't have color or white with it. And yeah. one of your fans was like, oh, another pink book. So we yes. weren't trying to copy you, Brenda. Um, no, no I, you know, it's, it's, it's oh. kind of like when I see people in pink, I'm like, oh, they're my people. It's yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> I was like, we're, we're, the three of us are talking tomorrow. Come join us. You know, right. we're, we're come in it, peace. And um, it's so fun that we're all wearing pink. But what I wanted to say is when you were talking earlier about pricing the book, and I'm going to, I'm going to confess this. I did, when I purchased your book, I didn't even know what it costs. I just clicked on buy, add to cut. I'm like, you could have charged me a hundred dollars for your book. And I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, I mean, I, in my mind, I'm thinking whatever they priced it at, they know the market value. And I didn't even question it. Similarly, I'm going to give a shout out to John Aspirian. I'm a member of his Espresso Plus community and he has like a monthly rate and an annual rate. And I signed up for the annual rate with really, I mean, I, I, I did, but I didn't really pay attention to the cost because I'm like, whatever he's charging, he's worth it. And he mm -hmm. gets so much value from him. So for, for both of you, I mean, it's, I think there's a lot to be said with personal brand and Michelle Griffin, I want to direct this question towards you, yeah. you know, because there are probably people that are watching that are thinking about writing a book and they're trying to think about how, how does the book help to support your personal brand or how can it help to support you and your business? What would you say to them? Absolutely. You know, the word authority, authors and the word authority. So it brings you a lot of credibility that you are an expert in your in your industry. And one other thing I'd like to say is, you know, keep leveraging that, you know, have additional things and just have it everywhere. So, yes, I kept putting it as soon as I announced it, I, I would put it everywhere. So I think it just helps you become more top of mind and the authority in your space and, um, and, and leverage it. So don't, don't, um, 
make that like a course or something. There's so many opportunities to keep building your brand off of it after the fact. And um, I want you, I want Michelle to answer that a little bit because she also has a year ahead of me with business goals. So she can give you the years, you know, and I know you know this, Brenda, but Michelle, tell everyone how it worked for you and your brand. So there's some things that I've done well with it. And there's some things I always like to tell it what's and all, how it's done. I personally don't have it clear in my head how much an achievement it is to write a book. And I'm not saying that to try and it's not fake humility. It is just literally, I think, well, why doesn't everyone write a book? You know, like in my head, I'm like, if I can do it, anyone can do it is, you know, and I didn't see it. And even Michelle said the other day on my website, you know, business gold is buried somewhere. You can't even see that I wrote it basically. Mm -hmm. Now, I haven't done a good job of that. I haven't seen it for how other people see it, you know, and that's something that I'm growing into. What I have done well on the flip side is I love nothing more than when I'm on a client discovery call going, yeah, I, I love company pages so much. I wrote the world's <laughs> first book on it. Like, mm -hmm. and they go, <gasps> and then, you know, that justifies like higher yeah. prices yeah. and the, you know, my sales brain kicks in and I go, well, I wrote the book and now I can say I wrote the book on how to use personal and business brands on LinkedIn um, and that will further achieve it. But there's an element for me where I haven't used it as much as what I should. And I, I know Michelle will. I'm working with there and that <laughs> like pushed me along yeah. um yeah but yeah I didn't see it for what it was or you know and that's something I'm committed to changing and that's something that I'm growing into so yeah 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 you know that's love? when when I'm asking you both questions I don't know if our audience is picking on it and this or not but if I direct a question to Michelle Griffin you're so nice about like well let's see what Michelle Raymond has to say Michelle Raymond if I direct a question to you you're you're bringing it back to Griffin you, the you same. are so respectful <laughs> of yeah. each other and i just i enjoy watching you I, I enjoy the banter back and forth and like you said you you answer your own questions but you're so respectful of the space i don't feel like either one of you is trying to hog the limelight mm -hmm. from the other i feel like you're so gracious about um was, sharing that i mean is that i see that as part of your personal brand i don't know if you think of it that way or if that's just part of your personality what would you say i i think it's both of us we're both mm -hmm. empathetic people and just give it forward and so we want to i'm always about supporting other people before i support me you know mm -hmm. and um that's why i'm always like michelle how can i help you the website how can i do this we support each other so much in the background it's not even funny I have a funny example from yesterday. We went on a live with Gabe and he'd done his research and had an advanced copy of the book. And he said to me, who wrote this bit and who wrote uh, that bit? And I wouldn't tell him because Michelle and I wrote this book together. You know, there are bits of um, obviously that she typed the words and there are bits that I typed the words, but we wanted it so that it is the power of two. It's about bringing things together and fusing them for better results. That's the whole theme of the book. That's who we are. Michelle Squared is literally bringing the best of us both together. There are things Michelle's fantastic at that I'm rubbish at and vice versa. And we bring the best out in each other. And that's the whole point of this book. Yep. Um, and that's why we wouldn't answer it. Um, so we do not tell people we don't want you to read that book and go, oh, M1 wrote that, M2 wrote that. We want you to read it and just go, I can see myself in that. I can learn from that and I can grow from that. And that's why our stories are in there. What's and all, it wasn't perfect, our journeys. Um, and we hope that that inspires other people to build their brands. And yeah, Absolutely. just really stand out. Well said, M2. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing. There are times I'm like, we were doing our book meetings and I'm like, Michelle, did I write this? Or did you write this? And she's like, I don't know. It's all the same. <laughs> it's true. I don't even know sometimes. That's so who how built the website? I, like I did that. I did that. Yeah. I, if it's in charge yeah. of being made pretty, that is not yeah. me. Like, yeah, I'm the painter. She's the. Oh, we should say she does the building, the sheetrock, and I do the painting. Yeah, I build the walls know. and Michelle paints them. Like yeah. that's pretty much how we, yeah. we work. And that's and I'm gonna build out more pages. That was just crunch time, but um. Yeah, that's because if we it. leave it to Michelle, like <laughs> it will be the you know the Mona Lisa. It would be this amazing creation. And I'll never get out there. I don't know if we'll <laughs> ever get out into the world. So, so it's yeah. the right brain and the left brain. All right, yeah. well, ladies, as we start to, to wrap up our conversation, first I want to encourage people to go to michellesquared.com. Don't th do the mistake that I did and leave off the D because you'll get an invalid web address. Mm -hmm. But michellesquared.com, and I'll put that link into comments so you can click on it. And then I also want to commend both of you because I pulled up 
up your LinkedIn profile. And I knew this was going to be this way, but I want to show you first Michelle Raymond's LinkedIn profile. Give it just a second. Look at her wonderful header promoting the book. And then I want to show you Michelle Griffin. And my clickable profile. link says buy the LinkedIn branding mm -hmm. book. Yes, you have Michelle it Square. The yep. The custom link. And then um, Michelle Griffin, slightly different, but still essentially the same. You know, the, the mm -hmm. yellow background with the, the pink of pop of color. Um, mm -hmm. on there as well. I want to just congratulate both of you um, on Thank your book. You. I am so delighted to be a part of this celebration with you. Yay. And I'm I'm super excited because I like literally just opened the package. It just arrived yesterday. I love so it. I'm We're expecting that picture, Brenda. So it, it'll be posted. It'll probably be tomorrow. I send it yeah. to you. No uh, rush. Two, right? Yeah. It's hour hour two. two. Yeah. <laughs> our, that ladies. too, that peace sign is our emoji, is our emoji you know, yeah. branding. We're going to be like Gary V. Power of two. Yeah. <laughs> right? There you go. You'll get it going. You'll be the new Gary V, the Michelle Squared, right? Yes. Be, uh, people be like, yeah. do you know Michelle Squared? You know, like, people say, do you know Gary V? Yeah. Um, Who's ladies, Gary? thank you so much. I want to give each of you the, the chance for any final comments for our audience before I wrap today. Who would like to go first? M1. Uh, I am one, I guess. <laughs> first of all, thank you, Brenda. You're the most gracious host and we just appreciate, always a pleasure to be here. This book really is not ours. It's yours, as Brenda said about her book. This is the power of two, personal business brand, to help those. I know what it's like to be stuck on the sidelines wanting to bring yourself out there. And so if you're wanting to get on LinkedIn, if you've been held back and just feel hidden, grab this book. This is us a couple years ago, and we show it all, warts and all, but the power of good branding, good businesses, because at the end of the day, we're here to make an impact for you, the reader. So over to M2 to finish us out. Look, we couldn't do this without the community of people mm -hmm. around us, you know, that we've built over time, um, whether it's in our groups, whether it's in our followers, whether it's our connections, company pages, um, to everyone that has supported us, cheered us on um, just throughout our whole journey, not just writing the book. Um, this is definitely our way of giving back on what we've learned people like you, Brenda, I'll never forget. You're the person that tells me I had, you know, I had stuff in my teeth at the restaurant and Aww. having friends that will tell you to do, you know, those kind of, you know, that kind of feedback makes us be who we are today. So we are Aww. forever grateful that we yes, are part thank of you. Um, we all and everyone it. else in the audience, we have an amazing community. Um, please buy the book, leave us a recommendation, yes. but most of all, we're looking forward to these photos. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hashtag well, Michelle Squared. Like Michelle you don't have a book yet that we can hold up. No, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's it's it's, the, it's another Amazon fiasco. But um, I'm Vince. You have I another can't book. That, could you hold up another book and then I will Photoshop and we'll create <laughs> yes. a version yes. of the three of us holding Wait. up. The Wait. <laughs> Wait. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Real, she didn't okay. Now we can hold it. I got a better angle. Can okay, we take a better angle? Let's okay. try it again. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I'll have my intern when she creates. I don't have two. Now. I need to do two. Can we do one more? Oh, oh my God. God. I got to practice. That's not okay. three. Can I do two, two? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, right. I did it wrong. I got to practice this. I'm not used to holding books. <laughs> right? It's like adding the props in. Um, yeah. la ladies, thank you so much for joining. I know uh, we are thank planning, you. I think, on doing like once a quarter, the three of us getting together. Mm -hmm. I don't know whose term, turn it is to host Nest. I think we're going to talk. Yeah, we're going to figure it out, but that'll be December because yeah. a year ago we started this whole series. Every quarter we kind of look ahead. This one will be coming up. What's on the plate? What's on task for 2023? Tips and trends to look for. Awesome. So that'll be something to look forward to. So thank you. Again, Wonderful. this has been a blast. So I thank you all for being here and live or in the replay. And we look forward to having you read the book and sending us your pictures with it. Likewise, and thank you everyone all that's so already much. bought it. Yeah, yeah right? exactly. If you, and if you bought already bought one copy, maybe buy a second copy for someone else for the holidays. You got a holiday gift coming up, maybe for that yeah. special person in your life. Hey, I want Absolutely. to thank our audience for watching too. Whether you are watching this live or in playback, if you could please like the video and drop a comment below. Um, just let us know that you watched it. If there's anything that you picked up from this, or maybe there's somebody in your network that is thinking about writing a book. You could click to share this post with someone. As soon as the video is done, you're going to see a little share button, and you can do the share or you can do the repost function and push it out automatically. I like the share with your thoughts because then you can tag us in there. And if you tag Michelle Raymond, Michelle Griffin, myself, we will all reply back. We'll thank mm -hmm. you. We'll be very gracious mm -hmm. about doing that. And you never know who you're going to help when you're sharing mm -hmm. that information forward. Absolutely. 
So with yeah. all that said, um, Michelle Griffin, have a wonderful day there. Mm -hmm. Michelle, Thank uh, you. Actually, I'm sorry, Michelle have Raymond, have a good day because you're in the morning. Michelle Griffin, have a good evening. I'm going to go have myself an adult beverage here in a few minutes. Enjoy. <laughs> and, Cheers to that. <laughs> and we will see everybody on LinkedIn. Stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. And we will see you around. Take Cheers. care. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>